the beauty about what we're trying to share with you today is that me and, and Mr. Wells here, thank you. We, we don't, we have very small channels, to be honest with you. And I'm going to show you, you know, our channels here in a second. He's actually blown past me. And I've been on YouTube for like, with this DLJ Works channel since 2018. You've already blown past me. You just, um, you're at 730 subscribers right now. I'm going to actually pull this up and I my hats go off to you, sir. Oh, thank like, you, man. Big it's, time, it's, man. It's been big, a journey. You know, 2000, I, I actually started it, I think in 2020, man, it was my very first video. And then I, I made a promise to myself in January and said, hey, look, I'm going, I'm going to get this YouTube thing a full shot, you know, for a full year. Mm-hmm. And so far, man, it's, it's paying dividends. You know, the beautiful thing about YouTube is uh, you start to build a community, you know, you start changing people's lives and I'm starting to see it as well as, uh, you know, you put the video out once, man, you got a video that you made three, four or five months ago and it's, it's steady building numbers, you know, and one day these will turn over into paid videos. So this is one of the things, you know, I talk about my experience. So my channel is mostly about me living here in Houston, Texas, my move. I'm not originally from Texas. I'm from Mississippi. Um, I also talk about health and fitness. That's my passion there. And then lastly, I talk about my current career as a process operator. You know, it's one of the jobs that are, it's a trade that pays very well. And it's, it's not really known by a lot of people, but it's really big for a state like Texas, where oil and gas is like the number one industry here uh, besides tech. Mm-hmm. And that's what I talk about, guys. You can do the same exact thing, whatever it is that you do, wherever it is that you live. If you move, you definitely can talk about your move, and then you're the first set of eyes in whatever state or city or country that you're living in. And then your job, you might have a job, even if it's something simple as working at Target. You know, you could talk about your experience working at Target. Hey, a lot of people want to know, you know, what's Target like behind the scenes? You know, hey, why why is Target red? You know, why they chose the color red? Why they chose the, the Target symbol? You know, that's things you can talk about and it's interesting. And then also too, you can talk about whatever passion you have. Go back to the art thing. Let's just say you like to paint and that's your passion. You, you throw that on there too. So I would say, try to cover at least three things, guys. If you're going to get on YouTube, three things, real simple, what you do currently, things you like and where you're at in the world. So you, you hit those three, you should build some traction in one of the areas. Then you can always branch out more than that. It's your channel. You know, you do what you want, you know, and, do what works. Don't be afraid to pivot to whatever area is picking up the most traction and kind of build on that as well. And you know, and you no, no, you're you're good. That was actually everything that you said is absolutely true because anything that you're good at, you can pretty much bring to YouTube arena. Because even if you're, let's just say, if you're just trying to do basketball tutorials, now given as many basketball players that exist out there. The, the the key thing is that none of those basketball players are you at all yeah. you bring something unique to the table hopefully you do you may watch all these other creators content creators and how they're making their basketball videos what they're doing or wherever the case may be and there may be some nuances that you borrow but you need to bring your own unique spin to whatever it is that you're actually doing and youtube is actually the perfect sandbox to discover what's going to work and what's not going to work you know, because even in our conversations, we talked about, I'm, I'm right here on your channel, mm-hmm. you know, you started off with intentions of doing, making this a fitness channel, but then you actually right. made one video about your process operation, um, not journey, but let me find that video Hold real up. fast. Your first video it, uh, I talked about. Right there to the right, go up some more. Yep, right there. This mm-hmm. one? Yep. High, high paying jobs. This is where this is yeah. the genesis, you know, where you like was like, oh, shoot, man, people are hungry and they won't. I'm getting questions in the comments section. I'm starting to notice my views stabilize here on this video. Let me make let me test this out. Let me it's a good testing ground for to see how things are going to work. Let me actually see and make more process operator videos to see what type of, you know, audience I draw from that. And, and you're even in, in the videos that I've, I've watched, you know, because you started to actually create a curiosity in me for what do you do on this job? What, what is a process operator? What, what does this entail? 
you drew that curiosity for me. And I started to see in the comment section, people ask you questions, people sharing their own journeys with, with you, just, you know, they're complete strangers or whatnot to you and everything else, but they're sharing their journeys. They're sharing like, and grateful for the information you're providing. There was even one comment that actually said, man, you know, man, I watched your video and man, I followed everything you said in there about interviews and man, that helped me out a lot. Like, thank you so much. Yeah. It's when you start yeah, to get that sort of feedback, those are without sounding selfish here, because a lot of people who just think that everything on the internet should just be free without sounding, I guess, completely selfish. Those are actually monetizable opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Those are op those opportunities to be like, man, okay, I'm giving them the free stuff here. Like, but there's so much more to this and everything goes like, how can I better like service this, this audience, but also, you know, earn a living, earn an income, you know, off of the information and offer just serving the people. There's nothing wrong with actually asking that question and figuring out. I ain't gonna lie, when I got on YouTube, my end game was to, you know, to, was to help people in terms of like share my web design and development experience. But I ain't gonna lie, it was like the second thing was I, I wanted to make money off of this. I wanted to figure out how can I use this as a marketing channel to, um, you know, continue to help people but also generate revenue, draw an audience and, and, you know, continue to just figure out how to monetize this, you know? So uh, if I go to my own channel here, all right, um, some of the same things I was sharing with you. Now, my views are a lot more inconsistent. Your views are way more consistent than my views right now, but I actually started to make my pivot uh, I think, was it this video here or was it, no, let me go down some more. Cause I started off talking, you know, my earlier videos were complete web design, Photoshop, anything I knew regarding like in a web design space, but I had to make a pivot when I made this video right here that has 4.2 thousand views. I was mm -hmm. like, how to edit a theme in Vimeo OTT streaming. And I was like, well, and we can see that this is three years ago. So the technology has of course updated and everything since then, but I made this video and this was at the time between like this Google links, which this video actually got a lot of views too. But, um, but when I actually saw this video right here, I was like, well, this may be very niche because at the time I did a search to see who else is talking about Vimeo TT themes. And I noticed that it wasn't much. So I was like, well, let me make another video. And this actually did for my standards, this did pretty good. Yeah. You know, and then continuing on down the line, I continued to experiment but at some point in time, I came back and I started making more consistent um, Vimeo OTT videos, probably when we got around to this area, probably in like 2020 more so. So 2019, I made that first Vimeo OTT video or 2018, something like that. But 2020, I like capitalized. I was like, let me make this video, which has 10K views now. And then I continued to kind of capitalize on that just over the uh, whole year of 2020 going into 2021. And now 2022. So, so I, I say all of this, and I hope I didn't. Let me actually get it off of that because I was looking for a picture. I say all this because we're very small content creators. Winning with Wells has 730 subscribers. I have 610 subscribers, but we've actually get a lot of inboxes. We get a lot of people in our email messages asking for help. People asking me, hitting me up for you screen help for Vimeo TT consultations, those sorts of things. You get people asking you about the process operations and they have to know that we're content creators. We're, our time is, is very, we, we're, our time is very limited. And that's the whole point. And when we, our time is limited like this, we have to have some sort of compensation if you're looking for more beyond just YouTube. But YouTube is so powerful in being able to, take advantage of a small subscriber count and view count if you niche down in the right arena. Let me take a break from actually talking because I'll probably, I need to, to let it breathe for a little bit. And anything you want to capitalize on anything that I said right now, Dan, you just... No, you, you covered it perfectly. Um, only thing I can add to it is, guys, you need to go into it with the mindset of even one view is better than zero views, okay? And anything beyond one, you should be happy for it. Same thing with subscribers. Um, back on my channel, I remember when I first started, I made an appreciation video for, I think it was either 23 or 27 subscribers. It was something like that. But 
usually people make these type of videos when they reach a thousand or you know five thousand ten thousand whatever big numbers i did it with the initial 20 something people that chose to click the subscribe button on my channel and that's just how i view a lot of things um in life you know one will always be better than none so if you go in with that mindset and the sky's the limit you just you never know who you meet me and deshaun are a perfect example i mean we're talking at the time when we met i may have had probably 200 subscribers at the time maybe 250 and I found his channel looking for help on Uscreen because that I was starting to see Uscreen videos come my way. And then reaching out to him, he helped me get the Uscreen going, which we're still working on it now. That'll be something that's really going to be great down the line. But just me looking, searching for that help, getting with him, getting his time, you know, taking care of him. We've built this relationship now. It feels like we've known each other for. 20 years, you know, <laughs> but you just never know who you're going to run across, guys, and just not being afraid to put yourself out there, him not being afraid to put himself out there, I was able to make this connection, this connection potentially could last for a lifetime, you know, I don't see it going anywhere, and, you know, we've met in person, and just this alone is more than enough than having, you know, 10 million subscribers or, you know, things like that, you know, you steady can build organically with someone, you know, someone that's real, you know, so that's, this is enough, my little two more cents, you know, I'm adding to it as far as the uh, YouTube thing goes. Mm -hmm. And, and one of the things that I actually want to talk about too, is that you notice that we, the, the, you guys as the viewers, y'all are going to notice that we don't have enough subscribers right now to qualify for the AdSense program, but we've already made a nice little undisclosed amount of money just off of our YouTube channels because of the things that we're talking about and the things we chose to help, the niches we chose to help people in, in order to, because I'm talking about technology, I'm talking about certain technologies that are very niche that only a small group of people are trying to get into. We're talking about people who want to build their own Netflix, whether it's using Vimeo OTT or Uscreen, and both platforms are, are can serve you well, and I talk about that in depth and which video was it? Um, I think it was a Uscreen versus Vimeo OTT mm -hmm. um, video that I did. I can't even find it right now. Uh, I think it's right here. It's this one, Vimeo yeah. OTT versus Uscreen, which is better, which has 420 views. So for a video like that, that's really good. You don't need a gazillion views. You, don't, you barely even need a thousand views. You just need the right viewers who's watching your videos, who need the exact help that, you know, that they're looking for. And you need to be able to provide them that solution. You need the right type of viewers and you need to be able to have the eye for opportunity to be able to say that, okay, this is an underserved group of people. Let me make some content to see if I can actually help them provide a solution and see what type of doors and opportunities that just opens for me. Um, you know, that my channel too, man, I was able to actually, I didn't share this with you, but I'm going to share this out in the open. I was actually able to talk to a woman from Nigeria and help her out with some web design, you know, decisions and stuff, because she was looking to get into that. And it was just, it was a blessing for me, man. So just the power of this to be able to talk to people from all over the world, not just the U S but all over the world who will reach out. If you got content that'll help, help them out, they're going to reach out and, and seek some further assistance. You know what I'm saying? That's up to you. If you want to provide a, a service fee for that assistance or not, and do it out the kindness of your heart. But, um, but in your case, though, just the the opportunities that that pre that that presents is amazing, you know. So, you guys can actually, if you're watching this, you can get. You don't when you make a YouTube channel, I always advise, don't try to go for AdSense. AdSense, YouTube AdSense should not be an end goal. Likes, shares, click that subscribe button. That should not be an end goal, in my opinion. From my experience in trying to, if you're trying to use YouTube as a marketing tool, those things should not be an end goal. They're they're nice to increase your, you know, your metrics in order for you to gain and get closer to the goal that you're initially trying to achieve. 
But when I got on the YouTube, it was to use it simply as a marketing tool in order to help build my web design uh, consultation and, and freelance service business at the time. And now I'm moving more so into providing products, selling products and subscription services, you know, through Uscreen and Vimeo OTT. So that way I can move away from the freelance inside and, and that sort of thing. So um, you have to have set, you have to take time to think about, write out, get, grab a pen or a pad, open iNotes, whatever, type it out, whatever you need to do and make a plan, a game plan and ask yourself, what is the end goal with this YouTube channel? Am I just doing this to entertain and have some slapstick e-commerce store that nobody's going to care about? Or am I going to get with maybe some affiliate programs, maybe teach somebody how to use some software because I know this has the highest uh, revenue in this has the highest like profit in profit margin in I can actually serve and start teaching people how to use this and and if they decide that they're getting help and they want to sign up that way they can use my affiliate link they can actually go ahead and get you know those subscription services and I get a piece of the pie from that and it's a win-win situation they're getting help they're learning something and I'm getting paid to do that